today we continue from where we stopped in building our REST API using Spring Boot and I would like to remind you to subscribe if you've not subscribed. If this is your first time joining this class, you can also follow along but I recommend you start from the first lesson up to this one because I think this is lesson A. Alright, so in the previous lesson we actually created the classes that we are going to use for our social API application. We created the location we created the users class and we created the, the post as well. So what we are going to do now is to add a business service to our application. So for instance, if I open the location, you can see that this is just a Pojo, uh, the plain old Java object. So you can see how the constructor, the getters and setters have been created. And one thing about my lessons is that all the procedures step-by-step -step procedure I provided here beside uh, along the line. So if you want to access it plus all the screenshots, all the codes that you need, they are available in my website www.kindsandthegenius.com slash springboot. So that is where you have everything and I will be actually be making this tutorial from this procedure I have here by the right hand side of your screen. The question you want to ask is, what is business service? Why do we need a business service? Now, this is how it is. A business service contains the logic of your application. So basically, all the logic uh, uh, of your application comes from the business logic. So that is kind of the middle way of uh, the middle tier of the application between the user interface and the data repository or the data store. So that is where you perform update, delete, uh, add, and and get. Everything is done right in the business service. So it's more like a layer. Instead of talking to the database directly or the data store directly, you actually do these things in the business service. So if you want data, you ask the business service to give it to you. If you want um, to make a post, you post to the business service. So business service actually takes care of handling uh, all the all the actions or activities that need to be done. So it's separating the logic from the rest of the application. And what is business service? How do you create this? It's simply a class, a simple Java class, but you have to add the annotation at service annotation. When we talk about dependency injection, that will become a little more clear. All right. So again, let me also mention that uh, a business service connect with the controller. So if a user goes to the browser and makes a request, HTTL, www, sorry, localhost slash users, this request comes to a method in the controller, right? So make no mistake about it. This method that comes from the browser hits the controller and whatever that needs to be done, the controller will have to ask the business service to do it. All right. So let's create the first one. We have to create three services for each of our classes. We are going to create a business service. So let's start with location. Let's create a location service. Uh, we'll just call it location service, user service, and post service. So simp simply create a new class. And I'm going to call it location service. All right. So, uh, so as I say, it's just a class. We have everything in Java is a class, uh, quite easy. And then to make it a business service, you simply annotate it with at service. Okay. So if you annotate with that service, it becomes a business service. So if you place your mouse at this arrow, because we can have we have an arrow, you can just say import service. Right. Good. So we've created this uh, service for location. So as I said, for all the classes, we need to create a business service for all our classes. So we are going to go ahead to post. Uh, yeah, this is a package that contains post. We also right click and create a new uh, class and annotate it with at service annotation. So I'm going to call this post service and then you finish and then simply annotate it with the add service annotation. All right, so put your mouse there and press Control, Shift and O. 
sorry, to add the import statement for you. I'm going to save everything. And the last one is to create, okay, I think I'm, I'm doing it out of order. So the first one is the user service, the post service, and the location service. So now I'm left with the, I need to create the user service now. So simp simply create a new class. And I'm going to call it user service. And I'm going to add the annotation at service annotation. Okay. So place your mouse in this arrow because you can see the error message there and simply press Control Shift and O to add the impost statement. So you can see that this service comes from stereotype, uh, the stereotype namespace. So we've created uh, one more piece of our application, the services, the business services have been created for the three classes. And the next tutorial, we are now going to create the controllers in the next tutorial. I'd like to thank you for viewing. So, We'll see you in the next tutorial.